But we begin with breaking news out of occupied East Jerusalem, where Israeli forces have stormed the Al-Aqsa Mosque and fired rubber-coated bullets and stun grenades during Ramadan prayers. Video shows women and children crying for help as Israeli forces beat Palestinian worshippers with batons. A few Palestinians have been reported injured. Israeli forces are accusing worshippers of barricading themselves after exceeding the agreed timings. Hundreds have been forcibly removed from the site. Let's bring in Al Jazeera's Natasha Gonem, who joins us on the phone from Occupied East Jerusalem. And Natasha, what more do we know happened? Well, I do want to point out that this is not a surprise. Yesterday on social media, I saw the bombastic rhetoric circulating on social media with calls for Palestinians to come to Al-Aqsa Mosque in anticipation of uh, the Passover holiday on Wednesday morning in which Jews will be expected from 7 o'clock in the morning until 11.30 to visit the compound as part of non Muslim visiting hours. So this, these type of clashes, again, were uh, expected based on what I was seeing on social media. As you mentioned, the police are saying that dozens of people barricaded themselves inside Al-Aqsa Mosque uh, late Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. They say, the police, that the, the people had a stockpile of stones, sticks, and fireworks the police say that they attempted to coax the people to come outside of the mosque. There was an agreement uh, with the uh, compound authorities that no one would be spending the night. Police say when they could not coax the people to come out uh, peacefully, that is when they entered the mosque and began firing stun guns and forcibly removing people. As you said, people have been uh, there have been some injuries and there have been arrests. Yeah. Uh, the Jordanian foreign ministry is condemning this attack. The Jordanians are the custodians of this holy site. Hamas as well is also condemning this, saying it is an unprecedented crime and people, quote, should inflict upon the occupation the price of this crime. The images we've seen are quite shocking. Some of them, at least, are still pictures that we've seen of worshippers in, in handcuffs lying on the ground. Uh, and again, stun grenades being fired as people prayed. Natasha, remind us of, of the significance of this site of Al-Aqsa and why it's such a flashpoint of tensions between Palestinians and Israelis. Well, we should also remind our viewers that these types of images and these types of clashes are not new. It's an ongoing cycle of violence, especially at a time like this. So this year... As last year, Ramadan, Passover, and Easter are all overlapping. So that's increased the desire for uh, the three mono people who follow the three monotheistic religions to enter the compound. In this case, we're talking about Jews, particularly, and Muslims. And what do the clashes, how do the clashes really begin? It's an issue of access and restrictions. Palestinians have already been restricted uh, to access the mosque during Ramadan. If you're 55 years old or younger and you're a man, you're going to need a permit to enter. Uh, and now, of course, uh, people were, are being told that during this period of Ramadan, they would not be permitted to spend the night inside the mosque. On Wednesday morning, at between, uh, beginning at 7 o'clock local and until 1130, Jews will be ex uh, expected in larger numbers than usual to come into the compound in honor of uh, Passover holiday. They will not be allowed to pray. That is a red line. They never uh, enter the mosque, but they do uh, roam around the compound. And this is obviously a always a very tense uh, situation. Uh, the Palestinians feel very strongly mm. about it because the type of uh, Jews that enter for visiting hours for non-Muslims tend to be very conservative nationalists. 
Okay, Natasha, thank you very much for that update. Let's show you the scene now in Nablus, in the occupied West Bank, where, as you can see, people have taken to the, to the streets to protest there after the storming of the Al-Aqsa Mosque earlier by Israeli forces who fired rubber-coated bullets and stun grenades during Ramadan prayers. Uh, people taking to the streets to protest this uh, latest action by Israeli forces. We'll keep a close eye on the situation there and bring you the latest as and when we have more information.